everybody, I'm Steph, and today I'm going to check out Suburbia with the Suburbia expansions-ish as a solo game. Um, so I'm not using all the expansion. I'm, I'm not going to use the stars, um, the five stars expansion, but I will use the borders and whatever other tiles I mixed in there, Nightlife and Essen and I don't know. Whatever shows up, we'll just go with it, I guess. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen? It's always a mystery. Um, deep -a -doop -a -doop. Yeah, words. My old nemesis. Who knows how to read? Psh, not me. Thankfully, the rules for the, the solo game in Suburbia are pretty standard. There actually are two different ways you can play, and I'm just going to do the basic one, but there's also Dalebot. And I, I found it really funny, actually. There is one sentence. Dan will get a kick out of this. There's one sentence. I'm going to read it. Here we go. Solo game number two, Dale the Bot. In this solo game, you'll be playing against Dale the Bot, who has no emotions. You go first, he drowned. Dale doesn't object because he has no other friends. <laughs> and if you know Dale, it's really funny. <laughs> oh, it's really funny. Anyway, I got a kick out of that. Um, aw, Julie's like, aw. <laughs> I can totally hear Dale saying that. So I just, I find that really funny. No other friends. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the board. Okay, so I have it set up here. We got, you know, the borders over here. Got the market up here. The A stack, B stack, C stack. On top, you'll see the bonus challenge and the challenge challenge, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> These two challenge tiles. And um, let's see. Let's put this over here. Got all the boxes every which way. Hello, Weird and welcome in. I need more hands. Why don't I have hands? Okay, good enough. Good, 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 good. Okay. Um, I'm. The collector's edition rules say game development and bot rules by Dale. Well, I guess that makes sense. Dan knows how to read. Good job, Dan. <laughs> Hi, weird, and have a beaver tail. Wait a minute. <laughs> fine. Let's have a beaver tail. It's fine. All right, so I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of Suburbia because I feel like I'll probably be playing Suburbia again and um, with, with Michael, and he's very good at reading and explaining rules. Um... And I, you know, I feel like at this point, most people know how to play Suburbia. And if you don't, well, then you really should go play Suburbia because it's awesome. <laughs> Just do it. Let's go. But I don't want to. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, Suburbia is generally, you know, you're is a tile placement game and all of the tiles will have specific abilities on them and once you place them you'll trigger other sorts of um, things so for example you get one minus one reputation for each adjacent industrial and residents. I'm like, what are the names? I'm so bad with theme. I'm like, brown and, you know, gray and green. <laughs> okay, industrial and um, residents. Sure. And then blue is commercial and yellow is, what, factories? Fa I don't know, man. This is like too much theme. Anyway, you're building up a city. <laughs> just, just do good. Just do a good job fine um when it, when it's your turn you're going to take one of the tiles from the lineup of tiles and it's going to cost you 
whatever it says on the actual tile. So this one says, oh, hey, $9. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. And it's going to cost you an additional money if there's money printed above it. So these two are $0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And so you can buy any of these tiles in the lineup. So again, we I am playing with a bunch of new tiles. The nightlife, the Essen tiles, everything is just kind of mixed in. And so we'll see how I do. This is a score track. Th yes, this is a score track. Um, there is one other thing. There is one other thing for the rule set here. Whenever I move past a red line, instead of moving back one, I have to move back two. And at the end of my turn, instead of sliding everything down, I, th I first have to discard something from the lineup as if it were another player taking a tile. Um, so those things are in play. You don't think you've seen a score track go over 100? Well, yeah, it's, this one goes to 160. 160! Bang! I started at two points. <laughs> hey, I like Cold Stone. I don't know what you're talking about, but that's fine. I don't, I don't need to pay attention to you people. I'm just playing Suburbia! So on my turn, I could take a tile, or I could take one of these amazing border tiles. This is part of the expansion. So, oh, this is a golf course. I get income for each uh, residence next to me in one of these adjacency. However, no tiles can be placed on any of the outside here. They just go into these little, like, slots here. It costs $17. It will provide an income. Oh, this is a star tile. I'm not... It's probably okay if I use a star tile. I'm not using the star expansion, but this one seems like it's fine. It just won't trigger off of um, other star things because I'm not using any other star tiles. <laughs> America's run on dunks. It's true, Dr. Sign. You're not wrong. And by, and by Americans, you mean... Mass holes. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Oh my god. Michael! I, 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 I made sure to resubscribe you. <laughs> hey, colorblind girl, how's it going? Welcome, welcome in. <laughs> oh my god, someone calculate the time. What? What time? What's happening? What? What? Oh my goodness. I'm just going to start playing and see what happens. I said it would be eight minutes before Michael was here. <laughs> he hasn't said it yet. What? What did Michael do? <laughs> Caffeine is caffeine. That's right. So, Michael, I figured we'd play Suburbia when you got back anyway, but I wanted to play it as a solo game to see how I do. And I really like Suburbia, so if I get the chance to play more Suburbia, that's really cool. You lost the audio. Well, I didn't lose the audio. So, it's on your end. Julie, Michael! Michael! Egg rolls. We're not talking about this. Though, Michael will be happy to talk about that with you in chat. We're not talking about Chinese food. We all know that I don't eat food. We all know it. We can go to a dance club. We can go to the city square. We can go to the waterfront realty. We can go to the cemetery. We can go to the airport. We can go to the law office. Or we can go to the helipad. Well, well, well. What is this? What's this? Law office. 
Well, this one's totally lame because score a tied goal tile. So right now in a solo game, I am not using goal tiles. So that one will be shot and fired, killed. Twitch on phone. Yeah. <laughs> As lit office. It's lit office. <laughs> I could get a helipad. I could get an airport. Plus five dollars for every airport. I mean, that's pretty good. And that's an ongoing ability. And there is an airport out there, so I feel like it's a great thing. Oh, let's also talk about... My God, we're still talking about spring rolls and egg rolls. You got to talk to Dafu because he has other opinions than spring rolls are better. Because I believe either Dafu or Colorfly was like, no. You're not ruining my life. You make my life wonderful. You're wonderful. You. See? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that's what she was going to say. We were talking about this last night. You guys were up so late. I was impressed. I was impressed. All right. So if by the time this tile comes out, this is a bonus, I have three yellow tiles in my city. Hey, I'll get two plus two income. If I have at least 40 points by the time the C tiles start populating, I will get two reputation. Hmm. All right. These are goals. We gotta do them. If we don't do them, then we're just, we're just playing badly. <laughs> That's what we're doing. <laughs> uh, please tell me, Defoob, that you have played Suburbia. Because if you have not, you need to. I need to go order dinner. No. You could order dinner from your seat. <laughs> Defoob! How dare you not play Suburbia? The heck? Unacceptable. Mistakes. Mistakes. <laughs> Time roller. <laughs> well, see, if you're in the chat, I'm going to yell at you. It's just what I do. I don't have Michael sitting here. I can't yell at him. Julie knows. Julie knows. I just yell. I have nobody to yell at. <laughs> I'm used to getting yelled at. I know. I bet you are. <laughs> Julie knows. See? All right. So I'm going to yell at you until you play Suburbia. I said, Michael, I, I re-upped your subscription. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, I just yell at Chad because Michael's not here. I could yell at him all I want. <laughs> Colorfly knows. I can do whatever I want. Yell at the foob all day. Oh yeah. And I said I was and I said I was gonna play Suburbia with you when you when you come back. So we can actually play a two player game. Um Yeah. Alright. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna spend way too much money on this helipad gonna be hella awesome that's right it's gonna cost me way too much money nine dollars all right so if I put it here next to the community park I actually get one up on my reputation which is great because it's a helipad I get plus one on my income and womp 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 that is all it seems cheap for helipad it's how it is how expensive because nine dollars out of your starting fifteen dollars is like a lot all right and then i get income do, do, do. i look at my income track i get one dollar one lousy dollar rusal and I get two reputation. Boop. I'm getting those 40 points if it kills me. 
All right. Normally, at the end of your turn, you shift everything down. However, with this solo rule set, I actually have to kill something. And because I don't want to pay anything, I could kill this one, for example, but it would cost me $4. I don't want to pay anything, so I'm just going to kill this le office. <laughs> the le office. Um, and that just goes over here. And now everything slides down. Yay! And two more tiles flip up. Okay. And uh, then I go again. And then I go again. Hey, let's look. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that industrial bonus for sure. For sure. I'm gonna pay six dollars for. The airport. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so because I'm paying six dollars for the airport, I immediately trigger this helipad. Five dollars for every airport. And that's each time it's built. Airport is built. I take it. And I like it. And because it's next to the community park, I get one reputation. And I get plus one dollar for every airport. And it's an airport itself, so I go, boop. Hopefully more airports show up. That would be handy. <laughs> le office, le office, le office. All very different situations. <laughs> le, le office. <laughs> Did you see the egg rolls in Discord? That's all you were talking about last night for like the last two hours of your stream to food was how much you wanted egg rolls. And how hungry you were. And you're just sort of like, I'm so hungry. And you just kept saying it and saying it. And I'm like, I feel bad. And then you probably got off the stream and just went to sleep without eating. And you were just so hungry. And I'm like, give that man an egg roll. <laughs> yes, egg rolls are amazing. I wouldn't know. I've never had it. All right, now I collect my income. Two, two dollars. Not great. Do better than me. I get three points though. One, two. Oh, I, man. Okay, that's like, uh, okay, that that's that kind of score track. Okay. <laughs> get that man an egg roll. <laughs> oh my goodness. Someone slept in this morning. It certainly wasn't me. Oh, did you get in trouble? Did you get in trouble? <laughs> now I have to kill something in out here. I don't really want to pay anything. I hardly have any money as it is. So I'm probably just going to kill this cemetery. And this was like not a great one anyway because it's like minus two points when you take it. So that's like not great. So goodbye, sploosh. Down over there. Everything slides. Slide, 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 slide. Not, not great. Tater salad. Potatoes. 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 Uh, I told him I made him tater tots, but he didn't want to come visit to get tater tots. So, you know, his loss. That's what I said. Oh, the Waterfront Realty gives you an extra $2 for each adjacent um, tile next to a lake. Oh, that's going to be really handy because I hardly have any money at all. Or I can get this dance club. Which is four dollars plus two dollars, six dollars. It gets me one dollar for every blue tile I take. Oh, for every blue tile, period. So if multiple people were playing and they were taking blue tiles, well, that would be good. Oh, it also gives one income, which actually is not terrible now looking at it. All right, this gives four reputation. City Square. But it's minus one point for every blue tile. 
Well, well, well. I could just say, you know what? Who needs blue tiles this game? And I could just go for the city square. However, I do not have enough money. So that is too bad. Um, don't be like me. Have money. Bye, color, bye, girl. Thanks for hanging out for a little while. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't know. I wish I had one dollar. I kind of want that city square. Ca a county assessor. Two dollars for each of my buildings. Oh, I could also maybe get one of these. I forgot. I could get the desert. Okay. So the desert gets me five income right away. That goes a boost to five income. That would be really great. However, for everything adjacent to it, it's Minus ten dollars. Well, that's obviously not happening because I do not have money to pay for that right now. And I believe I must have the money in order to take it. This is five points for each adjacent gray. All right, all those are really, really expensive. I'm not rich enough for those land, those, those border tiles right now. It is not a square, it's a hexagon. Oh my goodness, you are so correct, Michael. Michael! Michael! How was the day at the park? It was. He spent a second day at King's Dominion, so I am jealous. I wish it were me. <laughs> do I wanna do that and then that? I don't know what I wanna do. All right, let's do this. Six bucks for the Waterfront Realty. I think I'll put it here. So I can put a lake right there in a minute. It doesn't get me anything right now because I do not have any lakes. So this is really an investment for the future. My future plans. So fun with Meeple Grande. What? <laughs> Start of the stream over. Steph used the wrong word. Whoa. Gotta feed pigs. <laughs> it's a square with two triangles attached. Yes, that's right, Dr. Sign. You know what's good. I will kill... Oh man, but four reputation could be so good. It's gonna lose me a point. I'm gonna maybe keep that. Oh, but I would then have to pay to kill that one. All right, we'll just we'll just get rid of the city square. Who needs it? Oh, I didn't do my income. I get two dollars, three points. Drew bought a fun picks pass and we caught Drew passed out on a ride. He didn't pass out on a ride. It was faking. He was a faker. Faker. It's fake passed out. Sounds fun. All right. How am I going to get 40 points by this by that time? I got a long way to go. All right, do I want the dance club? Or do I want to make a lake? Oh, I definitely don't think I want the landfill. So if I took the landfill, I could put it off into like nowhere land, but I don't think so. I think I want to. So the county assessor seems pretty good, but you know what? I only have $4, so I will buy what I can. Or should I make a lake? Man, thing, things, things, things to think about. All right, I'm going to make a lake. Making a lake is free. You take any tile. Uh, if you take it from here or over, you're gonna have to pay the cost as normal. But I will make a lake and do this. You flip it over and you get $2 for each adjacent type of building. If it's adjacent to a border tile, you don't get any extra money. So don't put it next to a border. 
Um, I get two, four, six, eight, and that is doubled because my waterfront realty. So I get sixteen dollars rolling in it. Now I got tons of money. Uh, because I don't want to pay to discard anything, I'm just going to kill this one, even though this could be really good. What's the likelihood that we'll see another Essen tile? It's probably not very good. Because there are tons and tons of tiles that are not being used. Oh no! Okay, so right now we're going to reveal this. Industrial bonus. I get plus two income. Because I have three yellows. Success! I did that one. No problem. Hayden, second fave. It's my favorite coaster there, and second or third favorite overall. Hayden's second favorite. Oh, all right. Time roller. <laughs> Time roller, you were just in the chat, but apparently you're rating with a viewer of one. Thank you so much. Maybe you just decided to host me. <laughs> you have all the money. Where it's like, this is why I hate rides. I hear ya. No, I like rides. I really do. I really, really do. Alright, now what? Mint! Ooh! Oh! Ah! Yeah, I definitely want the mint. Fifteen dollars! It's like so much money! I'll do it. I'm a sucker for the mint. I guess. I'll put it here. All right, I'll put it there. Hey, because I'm placing it next to the lake, I get $4 back. It's like a rebate. And, oh, and because I'm placing it, I get $2 for each of my gray. So that is actually four more dollars. That is eight dollars. That's right, eight dollars. And I get income boost by three. All right. So now I get my income. It's seven dollars now. I feel like totally rich. And three points. All right, I've not crossed my first red line, so be on the lookout for that. Called tomorrow going to OBX. OBX. Just. Mm, I don't remember what OBX. Outer Banks. Oh, okay. There's no X in Outer Banks. Red, red line. Stay close to me. Don't let me be in the. Thanks, Dan. I thought you were going to get food. <laughs> Ridiculous. All right. What happened to all the airports? I was supposed to have tons of airports show up and then they just didn't. So, you know, that makes me really sad. All right, so I have $20. I can buy like anything. So if I buy this tile, this tile is plus two reputation and then plus two for each adjacent Essen tile. And you know me, I really, really, really love to push my luck. And, um, yeah, I didn't focus this. Okay. So I... I really do like to push my luck, honestly. 
However, not sure it's the best thing I should do because playing as a two player, you know, a two player game, there's so many tiles that aren't in play and the likelihood that one or two more come up are, is not great. It's really just not great. It could happen, but it's there. I think there's only like six tiles in the whole game of the Essen tiles. So it's like, oh my God, there's so many. I'm, we're, we're seeing like maybe a third of the tiles. Like, yeah. I didn't trash one already. I never trashed an Essen tile. I would never do such a thing. Never. So if I get the homeowners association, I get one point, and then I get two dollars for every green, which would be four dollars. And I would put it here. You know what? I could do that. I really need to get my reputation up. I'll just do it. I'll just do it. I will just do it. Where am I putting it though? Let's just put that there. No, let's put it up here. So that gets me to reputation. And uh, nothing else. So that's lame. Okay. And now I get my income of seven dollars, seven dollars, and five points, which is one, two, three, four, five. That is a line, everybody. I go down two and two. Ouch, it hurts. It hurts. Pretty sure, check the tape. These were the ones I trashed. I trashed the law office. I trust the cemetery, I trust the city square, and the county assessor, and the landfill. None of which are Essen tiles. Cause I, did, I didn't, cause I would never, never, I would never get rid of an Essen tile. That's just crazy. That's just crazy. All right, what do I want to kill? This is tough. Do I want the homeowners association? I don't know if I do. I just don't know. None of these are giving me reputation. I'm never gonna hit, I'm never gonna hit 40 points. There's just no way. If I, if I, Times two this one, it would give me one, two, three, four reputation though. So that would actually be okay. So I'm just gonna kill this over there. Slide it down. I don't wanna pay extra money. I barely have enough money to stay afloat. Okay, museum, museum is good. Water purification plant. Look at that, plus seven reputation. Minus two dollars for every yellow. Oh my goodness, it hurts. It hurts. Oh my God. It's expensive. It would be eight dollars on top of the seven dollars. It is likely worth it for seven reputation. And then every time I want to buy a yellow, it's gonna cost me two extra dollars. Ouch. All right, um, what am I doing? Do I wanna get... God, it's just terrible. I kind of want one of these like border tiles. Golf course for each adjacent residence. It's not great. I don't have any residence. The desert is five income. I just, I just desperately need reputation above everything else. So, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pay $4. 
use one of my multiplying to multiply this tile. What that does, it multiplies a tile. You thought student debt was up. That's right. I lose one income. Ouch, that hurts. But I get one, two, three, four reputation. I don't know. I don't know how to get to 40 points. It's just I have three more lines to cross. I'm just, yeah. So when I do that, I have to kill something out here. And I'll just kill the green one. And then I get my income, which is $4, not great. And I get seven reputation, it's 25, that's one line. So that goes down two. that goes down two. Well, it was good while it lasted for one turn. Um, and now it's the other player's turn, which they are going to take, do I wanna spend $2? It's like, do I want a tavern? A tavern could be useful. So sure, I will just spend, I'll kill this. Move everything down. Does the row move down between turns? It does not with the solo mode that I am playing with right now. It says before you move the market. Before the fourth, fourth action in your turn. Yeah, it's, bef it's before I add. Ooh, the light rail. That sounds nice. For each adjacent resident or commercial building, I'll get one rep and one uh, income. I hear about these solo games and keep waiting for Chewbacca to show up. Sheesh! I know. I'm no Han Solo. Han Solo. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Eight dollars will buy me a tavern. If only Silver Metal was here, he would be so pleased. All right, where do you go? Which way do you go? I think I'm just gonna put it here. It's probably not ideal place, but that's what I'm gonna do. It's what I'm gonna do. I get two income. Look around for any other bonuses. I know I missed one bonus earlier, but I'm not going to wreck on it. I'm just going to be like, I missed out on $2. And if I lose because I didn't have my $2, it's my own fault. Don't be like me. Remember all your tiles. It's been So I used to play Suburbia like all the time. And I would be like, oh, you missed that over there. Oh, you missed. I would keep track of everything. I would know everything at all times. But it's it's been a while and I'm not as good at it anymore. Oh, that's right. I do get plus two reputation, though, because that is multiplied by two, and I did not count for that. So that was good. So I get four dollars, which is a five minus one, and I get seven, count them, seven points. It's one line, which goes down two bumps again. Ouch, I can't keep up. I can't keep up. I might get to 40 points though, so I'm hopeful. So their turn goes and I'll just kill this warehouse. Oh, that's a B tile. It's a B tile. A's, B's. Slide them down, slide them down, slide them down. Oh my goodness. I have like one turn to get to like 40 points. Okay. What to do? Purification plant is looking really nice. It's $9 plus $8. Which is literally all my money. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Do I do it? That's all my money. And every time I take a yellow tile going from here on out, it's going to cost me two extra dollars. <gasps> But it's seven reputation. And what if I don't have money to pay my debt? So I will, I will be in debt. I'm going to be so far in debt because I'm going to cross. <laughs> I get 12 points, which would put me at 44, which is two lines, which goes down four. All right, so that would be fine. This one would be, oh, I get that income before it goes down. So, actually, I think I'd be okay. But it's, da, 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 da. collect money, adjust population. Yeah, you get the, you get the money first. I would be okay, okay, okay. Well, I could do it. Fine. I'm paying seventeen dollars because I owe eight dollars and nine dollars, and that's seventeen, which is literally all my money, to take the water plant purification plant. Man, it's just, it's probably a terrible idea. But I immediately get seven reputation. It's going to be fine. If my city runs out of money, I have to switch to crisis. I don't know what that means, and I don't think that's true. All right, so I get my income of $2 and 12 points, which is 44. One, two, two lines. So I go down one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is, this is dangerous. And I have to kill something. I can't afford anything out here, so that's just going to have to be. Everything slides down, sliding down right now. I can't afford anything. I have $2 to my name. However, I can. Ooh. I can make a lake and that will actually gain me money. And I think I want to make a lake with the light rail, even though the light rail could be really great. Well, the light rail could be really great. I really do need income boost, so. I do need an income boost, fine. I will kill the museum. I'll put it right about there. That gets me two, four, six dollars times two is $12, because I have the waterfront realty. And, uh, yeah, then I do income, which is pay $2, ouch, and I get eight rep, so that puts me at 52, which is one line, down, 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 dang, I need, like, Replied to Nightbot. <laughs> I could change it. I do want the light rail, so that means I will have to spend two dollars. Oh my god. Two dollars to kill the neighborhood watch. Um, everything slides down. 
Don't think I have enough money to buy anything. Oh, hey, what's this? The population challenge says if I have at least 40 points, which I do, gain two reputation. Woohoo! All right, stack C. I'm back and the guinea pigs are fed. And the garbage is outside. You accomplished so much. And so little time. If I had $12, I would buy a light rail. However, it's also yellow, which I have problems with that. I only have $10, so that's just not going to fly. So I'm going to have to make a lake or multiply something out here, which is probably a better idea. $8 for that. Oh, $15 for that. That's way too much. Or I could buy one of these things. $3 for a heavy factory. That would give me a one income boost. Um, I just, I need to get out of this hole. I'm in a hole, everybody. It's a hole. I'm going to have to make I could really use the power station right now. It would be really helpful if I could build that, but I am at $10. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh my goodness, the helipad is an airport. I'm so dumb. I am so dumb, people. All the hamsters. Oh my god, this game is an asterisk. Let's just say mistakes were made. <laughs> I'm going to play again. Why are you so dumb? You don't even know. You don't even know. You don't even know. Should have been up one income this whole time and five extra dollars. Let's just say you gotta pay better attention. I'm just so busy looking at the really pretty artwork. Like the really pretty artwork. It's a totally different suburbia. Oh my god, chinchillas are the best. They are like so soft, so fluffy. Can I like take a debt? I could really use some debt. <laughs> and I'm like one space away from all right I'm just going to make make a lake make a lake could say goodbye to the light rail because yeah make a lake where do you go lake I guess right here get twelve dollars for the lake. All right, now I get my income, which is negative four dollars. Don't be like me. And eight points, which puts me at 60, which is two more lines. I think negative five is the highest it can go. Pretty sure. Never been so bad at income. If your income is on a positive number, take that amount of money. If your income is on a negative number, pay that amount immediately to supply. If you don't have enough money, pay what you can. Then move your population meeples back one space for each dollar you still owe. A player cannot have a population less than zero. So if your population is zero, you still owe money, nothing happens. But it doesn't say, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that is a hard. Where does it tell me? I don't think 
it says. Income and reputation can never fall below negative five or raise above 15. Suburbia! Yes. All you can eat crab legs? Does that thing kind of exist? Does that even exist? I know you love crab legs. I know it to be true. Oh boy. He's going to kill that because reasons. Sure. It's going to be great. It's going to be great, guys. It's going to be great. This game's going to be over. I'm going to have like a terrible score. Terrible. And then I'm going to want to play again. Game night host. Oh my goodness. Can I host a game night over here? That's so great. It says five points for every food you have. Food icon you have. That's so fun. Yay! Jimmy's $45. Keep bringing them with the butter, thanks. Dang, for 45 bucks, better. All right. $11 plus two because it's a yellow tile. I am taking the domestic airport. It will go right here. It gets me $4 for being next to a lake. It also gets me $5 because it has an airport thing on it and it gets me income of two of these and it gets me gets me three reputation because I have three airplane airplanes on my board. Okay, so that got me nine dollars just for the tile. So I guess it kind of paid for itself, I guess. I guess. All right, and now I do my income, which is pay three dollars. It's terrible. Get seven points. So I'm at 67, which is one line so i go back to my negative five position gosh it's so hard to keep up these red lines that's so rude i'm gonna kill that because i don't want to pay i hardly have any money as it is flip it flip it julie what is this i miss crab so much oh my god that's like a lot of crab. It's a crab. Police station. It says ignore future negative moons. Are moons negative? Mm. I don't think that's a big problem, but it is to reputation. Um... I have two blue buildings, so I would get, that's $18. Like, I'm looking at this one like, oh yeah, it's no problem. No, it's big problems. I don't have that kind of money. I don't have that kind of money. Should I put in a desert? It's going to cost me $16. Don't have it. Nope, 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 nope. For each, one point for each of my greens, which is one point. That's pretty lame. But it is only $5. So there's something to be said about that. Shh. I don't know. I just don't know. I could multiply something. This one, for example. If I spent $9, which I'll do because I'm going to do it. I'm going to multiply the helipad, which gets me $15. And one of these. Sure. And I'll just kill this one for my, my action. And then I have to pay $4, 
because that's what I owe in my income and I get five points. So I go one, two, three, four, five, and that's one line. So I go back down, back down. Can't keep up, can't keep up. And then their turn is going to be killing that. That slides, it slides, it slides, sliding, 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 sliding. Oh, night court. Reverse existing negative moons, ignore future negative. Reverse. Man, it sounds like the, the night ones are, like, rough. All right. $6 per player. Take five meeple, five points from every other burrow. Well, that's not great. $18. I don't have it. I could get my game night. Oh, no, that's $17. All these are so expensive, and I'm just so poor. $6. All right. Let's see. I'm going to do $6 to do multiply this, which gets me a bump of 3 Not great. And then I'm going to kill this because I can't afford anything. I can't afford anything. And I owe $2. And I get three points, which puts me back two more again. I keep crossing these lines and I'm just like, I can't do it. I can't do it. And he's going to do this. That all comes sliding down. One more round. After this round is over, star player and each player after the star player has one more turn, which the game is over. So does that mean I get one more turn or two more turns? Man, I'm not going to get a really good score at all. I don't know if I get one more turn or two more turns. It says, play this turn, finish the round, and play one more. So I believe I get two more turns. Let's go with two more turns because that's how I would see it. Game night hosts. I have no money. So let's... Let's um, make a lake, I guess. Sure. Make a lake. So that is... Twelve dollars. And of course I owe four dollars, so that's lame. And uh Oh, that's what I could have done with the desert. Do I would I want to do that instead? I didn't have enough money. I only had five dollars. I only have five dollars. All right. Well, I paid my four. I get one point. <laughs> oh goodness, it's so bad. He's gonna kill that one. Everything slides down. I'm gonna go one more because I believe I'm supposed to. Oh my god, Mayor of Canada. I don't even think Michael's listening. I would rather have dessert, too. Alright, what do I got? What do I got? Game night host would get me a ton of points. Um... 
$17. I still don't, I still have only $13. So all of these are terrible. So what gets me points? I can't even, I can't even double the water, oh, I can't double anything because I don't, so that leaves me with very few options. I could get the desert, I could get, let's see, one of these, that will give me plus one for each of the adjacent blue, green, or yellows. It's not bad. I'm going to lose my reputation anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Da, 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 da. Sure, let's... Actually, I could take a green instead. A green might be better. It's $3. What can I get with this green? Nothing really. Gets me two points. Oh no, I should not do that right now. No, I should not do that right now. No, oh, it's better to do this. One more, one more dollar. And this will go, where do you go? Where do you go? Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. right there I lose that and community park will gain me two bumps so my income I lose five dollars and I gain three points which goes to 79 and I cross a line so this goes down right then I'm done what do I do Make sure I got everything correct. Um, one more. Da -da -da. Um, every five dollars is a point. I have four dollars. That's terrible. I have. No more points. I got 79. Yeah. 79 says I am a draftsman. It goes junior intern, subcontractor, draftsman, architectural designer, architectural engineer, principal architect, CEO of Suburbia Inc. So yeah, that's pretty terrible. It says play with the fully randomized set of regular and expansion tiles for the ultimate challenge. Yeah, that's what I did. It's really, really, it, it is challenging. So you could, you could break it up so it's like a little bit easier. Um, but you know, I gotta take a picture, otherwise it didn't happen, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I was in debt like the whole game, so that, that makes it like really challenging. I scored 79. Anyway, if you haven't played Suburbia, now's a great time because there are, there is this lovely second edition and it's so good. It's so good. I love this game so much. Um, and, uh, and even buy a border tile. They weren't great. I, uh, they were really expensive and the one that was cheap was really expensive because it's a desert tile. 
<laughs> but it got income and I totally desperately needed income. I also made the mistake that I didn't realize that the helipad was also considered an airport. So I would have got extra $5 and an extra income really early on in the game. And I think that would have really helped uh, throughout the game process. So let's just say it probably should have been like 80 points instead of 79. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. I'm glad I could show it off. Even with, um, the solo rules, that's just the easy solo mode. There's also the Dale bot mode, and there's a whole bunch of more specific rules that you're going with with Dale bot, and, um, I think you're actually, like, taking his tiles and placing them for him and adjusting all of his stuff at the same time, so. I don't know. I'm kind of lazy, so I didn't really want to manage another board, um, but I could see trying that if I wanted to have a even slightly more challenging experience. So, yeah, it was good. Glad I could show it off. <laughs> I'll be right back.